Good day everyone, I am Jengis Chandi Filicano, Bachelor of Physical Education. Today, I will be discussing Module 19 about Osebel's Meaningful Verbal Learning or Subsumption Theory. Let me introduce first the one who made this theory. David Paul Osebel, born on October 25, 1918 and died on July 9, 2008. He was an American psychologist. His most significant contribution to the fields of educational psychology cognitive science and science education learning was on the development and research on advanced organizers. Also, Osabel developed the theory of significant learning, one of the basic concepts of modern constructivism. It applies to the cognitive concept of learning, where a person interacts with his or her surroundings and tries to give meaning to what he or she perceives. Before I proceed to the main topic of this discussion, we should know what is Osabel's theory all about. Osabel's theory is concerned with how individuals learn large amounts of meaningful material from verbal or textual presentations in a school setting, or in contrast to theories developed in the context of laboratory experiments. So it means that the, this theory is all about our existing knowledge and new knowledge. Osabel proposed a way of improving it, and this is by suggesting the use of advanced organizer, as you can see in the screen which is a tool that can students can no longer be a passive learner during the discussion because by, by the advanced organizer, the students will be giving a hint or idea of what the possible topic of the teacher of, about the discussion. Also, this theory contains meaningful verbal learning and as you can see, this will be the outline of our discussion for today. And this will be the first discussion today about focus of Osadol's theory. Cognitive structure, the most important factor influencing learning, is the quantity, clarity, and organization of the learner's present knowledge. This present knowledge consists of facts, concepts, propositions, theories, and raw perceptual data that the learner has available to him or her at any point in time. It means that cognitive structure provides meaning and organization to experiences and guides both the processing of new information and the retrieval of stored information. And furthermore, it means that things that we already know, the knowledge that we already know, the knowledge that we acquire or that we are not noticing or aware of. And the advanced graph organizer. The way to strengthen the student's cognitive structure is by using advanced organizers that allows students to already have a bird eye view or to see the big picture of the topic to be learned even before going to the details or to the discussions. For example, as a future educator, we or I should give my students ideas or a hint about the topic so that they can participate and be active during the class or have a connection of the two students between the teacher or the between you or the students. Subsumption, it is a process by which new materials is related to relevant ideas in the existing cognitive structure. It means that you will combine your existing knowledge or old ideas to new knowledge. And also it means a learner absorbs new information by tying it to existing concepts and ideas that they have already acquired, rather than building an entirely new cognitive structure. And they are able to relate it to information that is already present within their minds or we called what is learned is based on what is already known. David Osabel proposed four processes by which meaningful learning can occur. Derivative subsumption. This describes the situation in which the new information you learn is an example of concept that you have already learned. Example, the concept of vegetables. As you can see in the picture, there are okra, kalabasa, malunggay, carrots, potato, patata, and many more. If you hear the concept of vegetable, the first thing that comes into your mind is, is low fat or the calories uh, or good for the health or on diet. That is your existing knowledge or your old, old knowledge about vegetables. But in the new knowledge is that there are other vegetables that not can help for the low weight only. But you encounter exotic or not familiar vegetables that can heal or, med heal or medicine any sick person, which means that is your new knowledge about vegetables. If we, if you or we combine 
existing knowledge a new knowledge knowledge it will form learning that's why it only describes your basic knowledge about vegetables correlative subsumption is when you add new details to what you already know usually a higher order concept using the same example on the derivative subsumption suppose you are not acquainted with the concept of vegetables but when you encounter the nutritious contents of a vegetables like in the picture shows a lot of vegetables that have a concept of vitamins so in order to us to accumulate this new information we should have to extend or expand the concept of a vegetables to our old or previous concept of vegetables because here in the correlative subsumption you are creating a higher order concept of using your basic knowledge the third one is superordinate learning you are already familiar with the things but didn't know the concept itself until it was taught for example you are familiar with fruits vegetables and meat it shows in the picture it means you know the things but you didn't know the concept itself you didn't know what are those things but until you were taught that these things is for the healthy diet to help our body to become healthy so that a new concept is learned under which already established ideas can be subsumed or in other words it means that you are familiar with that things but you didn't even know what the function of that things combinatorial learning this is when the newly acquired knowledge or get knowledge combined with prior knowledge or new knowledge to enrich the understanding of both concepts for example we all know that the car is moving but why it's moving because of the gasoline car can be able to move and human or the body of the human can be able to move because of the food that we take combinatorial learning we could think of this as learning by analogy analogy is a comparison between two things typically for the purpose of explanation or clarification an analogy between the workings of nature and those human societies or in tagalog pinapalawak ang ating kaalaman or understanding the advanced organizer is a major instructional tool proposed by Ausubel tools that help connect the known to the unknown frameworks for helping students understand what it is they'll be learning tool that professors can present to students prior to a lecture to help them structure the information they are about to learn as I said in the first part of the video advanced organizer it will can help the students to have an idea or hint about the possible topic or the discussion of the teacher advanced organizer can help students to inform of what the possible or the topic that, that they will be learning furthermore the advanced organizer helps you link the new learning to your existing scheme as as such advanced organizer facilitate learning by helping you organize and strengthen your cognitive structure also advanced organizer have two benefits first you will find it easier to connect new information which they read what you already know about the topic and two you can readily see how the concept in a certain topic are related to each other types with advanced organizer first expository expository describe the new content it means provide students with the meaning and purpose of what is to follow it presents students with more detailed information of what they will be learning especially the information that may be difficult to understand two narrative presents the new information in the form of a story to students it means the stories can stimulate students thinking and help them make personal connections to new information and three scheming is done by looking over the new material to gain a basic overview it means reviewing the important information that we'll encounter later by focusing on and noting what stands out in headings, subheadings, and highlighted information. And fourth, graphic organizer, visuals to set up or outline the new information. It means it provides students with guidance on what the important information is in a lesson or unit. They visually represent information of students are about to learn. They give them direction and also provide a visual representing of the important information. And the application principles the most general ideas of a subject should be presented first and then pro progressively differentiated in terms of detail and specificity 
According to Osibal, the purpose of progressive differentiation is to increase the stability and clarity of anchoring ideas. Uh, the basic idea here is that if you are teaching three, three related topics, the A, B, and C, rather than teaching all of topic A, then going on, the, on to B to etc., you would take a spiral approach that is in your first pass through the material. You would teach the big ideas in all three topics. Then, on successive passes, you would begin to elaborate the details. So, this will be the short quiz of our discussion. Enjoy answering! watching and listening of my discussion today about the topic of Asabel's Meaningful Verbal Learning or Subsumption Theory. I hope you learn from me. Goodbye!